The mainline Conjuring movies may be coming to an end, but could James Wan's horror universe live on without them? The director has finally addressed if the series has an afterlife. Crafting a successful horror franchise is no easy task, but James Wan has struck gold with The Conjuring Saga. These movies are inspired by the cases of real-life paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, respectively. Of course, these chillers might be somewhat questionable when it comes to their true story elements. However, there is no denying their effectiveness as entertaining horror flicks. So, will The Conjuring 4 continue that trend? Sometimes it's better to keep the genie in the bottle. The first Conjuring movie tells the story of a family whose rural farmhouse is haunted by a supernatural entity. The Warrens are called in to solve the case, only to discover that the evil that dwells there isn't willing to go down without a fight. The Conjuring 2 sees the Warrens traveling to London to help a single mother save her children from an unwanted house guest. Finally, The Conjuring 3 The Devil Made Me Do It pits the paranormal investigators against the American legal system, as they set out to prove that demons inspired a man to commit murder. Every film in the Conjuring series has made serious bank at the box office, and they've been generally well-received by moviegoers, too. So Warner Brothers Pictures is undoubtedly interested in making more. According to Wan, however, The Conjuring 4 might be the saga's final entry. As it turns out, James Wan isn't interested in producing more Conjuring sequels for the sake of it. The filmmaker has too much respect for the Warrens and the universe he's built around their cases to churn out mindless sequels. During a recent interview with Collider, the horror maestro confirmed that The Conjuring 4 is still a work in progress and explained why he and his team aren't rushing to bring the fourth installment to fruition. He said, Yeah, we are working on it right now. With The Conjuring films, we are very precious about them, and so we kind of want to just take our time to make sure we get it right. We just want to make sure that it's the right thing, the right story that we're telling." It sounds like Wan and company are focused on making a movie that lives up to the quality of its predecessors. However, while The Conjuring 4 might be the final movie in the main series, it doesn't necessarily spell the end of this cinematic universe. The Conjuring franchise has mastered the art of the backdoor pilot, with the main movies featuring cameos from memorable spooks that then went on to star in their own spin-off series. As such, the universe will likely live on in the form of spin-offs after The Conjuring 4. For example, the Annabelle series has produced three movies. Elsewhere, The Nun will unleash its second installment later this year. It remains to be seen if there will be a follow-up to The Curse of La Llorona, but that film grossed over $100 million at the box office, so you can never rule out the possibility. Unfortunately, Juan's Crooked Man feature is apparently no longer happening in its original form, but the project may be revisited somewhere down the line. Of course, The Conjuring 4 will undoubtedly introduce another spooky entity that haunts the nightmares of fans all around the world. If that happens, who's to say that the demon in question won't be given the spin-off treatment as well? The Conjuring movies might well be one foot in the grave, but it looks like there's life in the franchise yet.